Understand, receive, retain. Matthew chapter 13, verse 23. But he who received seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Mark 4, verse 20. But these are the ones sown on good ground, those who hear the word, accept it, and bear fruit. Some 30, some 60, and some 100. Luke 8 and verse 15. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. As we look at the parable of the sower, we today look at the fourth scenario Jesus described for us. It is the good ground where the seed actually bore fruit. It produced. And it is interesting to look at how Matthew, Mark, and Luke record the nature of the good ground. What was it that caused the good ground to produce, to bear fruit? Matthew says, they heard the word and they understood it. Mark says, they heard the word and they accepted it or they received it. And Luke says, they who heard the word with a good and noble heart, they keep it and bring forth fruit with patience or endurance. So you see three important things highlight for, highlighted for us here. They understood it, they accepted it or received it, and they kept it or retained it over time with endurance. So three important insights for us to be that good ground uh, in order for the Word of God to produce in our lives. When we hear the Word, we must understand it, receive the spiritual understanding of what God is saying receive revelation of the promise, receive revelation of what God is speaking, understand the word. Second, receive it, accept it, you embrace it. You say, yes, this is for me. You see, many times we understand the word and we say, well, it's for somebody else. Uh, it will help that person, it will help that person, uh, but maybe not me, it, maybe it's not for me. See, if we have that attitude, then the word of God will not produce in our lives. When you hear the word of God and you understand it, your response should be, this is for me. I am going to have this promise. I am going to have what God said I can have. I accept it. I embrace it. I receive it. I want it. So you've got to have that attitude. You've got to receive it. And the third thing, as Luke points out, is with a good and noble heart. So we maintain a good heart through, the, through time. Keep the thorns out. Keep the stones out with a good and noble heart, what do we do? We keep it. That means we hold on to it. We retain it and bring forth fruit with patience or endurance. So that's the third aspect that we need to have with the Word of God. We keep holding on to that Word through time. We are patiently waiting for the seed of the Word to produce. Now, we don't give up. There are times you will receive fruit very quickly. Uh, we, we can't foretell, we can't say, well, you know, this seed will produce uh, in two days and this will produce in five days. We don't know that. That's not in our hands. But our responsibility is to understand it, receive it, and retain it. Keep that word in your heart. Keep that word in your heart. How do you keep that word in your heart? You go back to the Bible, open the scriptures, keep reading it, keep meditating in it, keep your eyes on it, keep speaking it, keep hearing it over and over again. You retain that word. You don't give up on it. You retain it with endurance because that word will produce. The good ground is a ground where the person understood the word, received the word, and retained the word. Here's the key to seeing God's word produced in our, produced in our lives. You and I, let's determine we're going to do this. Understand, receive, retain. Understand, receive, retain. The Word will produce in your life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the power that's in the Word. The miracle seed. That every promise of God will produce in our lives. Help us to understand your Word. To receive your Word. And to retain your Word. In Jesus' name. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.